Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, so that information can be found down below in the description. As you can tell in my background, Leo Virgo cusp, it is dark, so that means it is way later than what I normally record, but it is what it is, is how things happened today. Dogs are needy everybody's needy today um <laughs> we just kind of have to go with it right she's waiting for somebody to get here um and it's like the time is getting late he's almost here mama dude almost here okay so leo virgo cusp um there there is this energy of like cry me a river i don't know who who's who's in their feelings whether it is you or somebody around you but somebody is crying somebody else a river somebody is like i can't live without you i can't be without you etc etc now when i say that automatically other people are gonna be like oh this is about love i don't want to know about my ex and this and this. no it doesn't necessarily have to be about your ex um this can be an old job that is trying to get you back right because letting you go was a big mistake this can be a friend that you haven't talked to in a long time and they want to reconnect with you what i say cry me a river is someone or something that regrets losing you right um for a lot of you you know you can also look at the energy as an aspect of you yourself crying yourself a river right a lot of the times when when we're playing a new role right because everything that we are um are just roles that, that we play right um when people ask me who are you i'm perla well what's per i'm perla um perla plays many roles right perla is a mother perla is a caretaker perla is <laughs> perla is a nurse perla is a lot of things right but i'm perla at the end of the day right and it's almost kind of like that you may have gotten lost i'm going to use that word for now you might have gotten <laughs> that's a good one uh the one i'm gonna say next i'm sorry guys this is like okay I know you guys probably think I'm crazy. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> you may have gotten misplaced in one of your roles, right? Uh, maybe you became a new mother. Um, a sh a short time ago and you are letting your wifey or husband, um, duties kind of like to the side, right? Um, maybe you became a new father recently. And, and again, it, it's almost kind of like, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Somebody's playing a new role and is neglecting another role. Um, so maybe you got a new job and it's taking you away from your family or it's taking you away from a hobby or it's taking you away from something. So it's like a misplaced type of energy. And that cry me a river energy is almost kind of like that. Like come back here, come back here, right? Your, your Wednesday night Zumba classes are calling back to you. Like do whatever you got to do to make it work so you can make it back to Zumba. No, I, um, I've taken a couple of Zumba classes. It's really, I, I love dancing, but I love dancing, if that makes any sense. I'm very, it's very hard for me to follow like chore choreographed dance. Don't ask why, it just is. Um, I can follow like kickboxing and other stuff, but when it comes to dance, it's just like my body wants to do what it wants to do. Um, and, and it is what it is. But what I'm trying to say is like, there, there's an aspect of you or part of you that feels like it's being left out or may have taken a back seat right um very very simple sometimes when you start dating somebody new you start neglecting your friends and your family members you start neglecting certain things and it's like um don't do that to yourself um you were a person before you met this person you had a life before you met this person now i'm not saying that the person has to adjust to your life but there has to be compromise so just kind of look at it from from that point of view again guys these are general readings so only apply the energies where it is that they are in your life can you please stop with the door um and if they don't then they're just not for you hey come over here what is the problem? 
What's the problem? Because you're acting up today. All right. And I'm used to her with, I'm used to her barking once or twice when I do readings, but today's is like another level with the, with the knocking on the door and, and, and just that, right? But it's almost kind of like this, uh, it's, it's something wants, something or someone wants your back. And it's. It's almost kind of like until you don't get back into alignment or get back into this, um, there's going to be almost kind of like this feeling of like uh, something is missing. Now, when I say that, I don't mean, especially like if this is a relationship or something like that, where somebody wants you back. Um, I don't mean that that's a person that like that person completes you or anything like that. Um, addressing that. Or having that conversation with that person especially if you're you know that you're done and you don't want to go back with them but not keeping them suspended not knowing or thinking that or keeping them in a space where they think that they're gonna get you back so whatever whatever this energy that is crying you a river is you need to come to terms so when i say you need to go back to it you need to connect with it you need to reconnect with it i'm not saying to go back to an ex that's not what i'm saying i am saying address it deal with it handle it and make it perfectly clear that you are done right um in order to allow you to cut ties with that energy completely because i'm not gonna lie some of you have somebody um you're you're <clears throat> Uh, you're you're keeping somebody around or maybe somebody's keeping you around but i feel like you guys are the ones keeping somebody around that you know that you don't want to go back to but whatever this person is doing they're helping you or they're they're in some shape way form form or way whatever it is the expression they're helping you in some way and you don't want to give up that specific help at this moment in time so you're leading them on so whoever it is that you're leading on you're being advised to stop uh what goes around comes around and and that's just the nature of things. And when things come back around for us, they come back in ways, in a form or in a way that hurts us the most. So it's not necessarily that you're leading somebody on and somebody's going to lead you on. Uh, maybe the dream career appears and you apply and you're higher temp and then they lead you on thinking that you're going to get higher full time. And then all of a sudden they find somebody else full time and then they let your ass go. Ooh, you don't like them when you're let on, right? That's, that's the type of thing that I'm talking about. Because a lot of people think that karma comes back in the same exact way. No, 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 baby. It comes back in the thing that it hurts you the most. So let's go ahead and let's pull out some tarot just to clarify Alrighty, we have the three of wands, we have the six of cups in the reverse, and we have the eight of cups in the reverse. The three of wands is in the reverse as well. So um stop avoiding, stop avoiding dealing with the situation, stop avoiding dealing with somebody. Um just kind of just just be honest with yourself and just deal with it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They're gonna freaking call you a couple of names and get upset with you, uh, and that's it. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, it's nothing new, right? Um, that's technically when when somebody's not ready to let go of a connection, um, or a relationship or a person, um, and they feel rejected. There are people that cannot handle rejection and um, trying to put you down or trying to call you names, trying to all of this. Like you, you've dealt with that before, so just get it out of the way. So we're gonna pull out the love energy card. Now this can be in a romantic relationship or any relationship that you have with anybody around you. Um, this can be um, your relationship with yourself, your passion for your career, your job, your hobbies. We have separation. Ooh, something is being separated. No, something has been separated. It wants to be reconnected. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. This is that Crimea River energy. And you're going to be feeling it this week. Because honestly, um, someone or something in your life really is yearning for you really wants you back now if this has to do with like your workouts or like you know that that time that you spend like on your mental and spiritual health and then 
that you do have to find a way around to get back into all right <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get a closing message for you guys so what do we have for the closing message for them spirit just one card for the closing message spirit we have the ego who i love the ego you know why because the ego always so it's, it's, it's almost kind of like soaring right is, is it they soar or they fly uh, they fly i know they fly let me not say that but it's like almost like soaring that's what they call it when they just kind of woo or glide whatever the heck it is uh see from a higher perspective okay that's what you're being asked to do see it from a higher perspective again there there is a part of you um there there's something that seems to be misplaced and in order to find that that grounding energy that energy that allows everything to kind of flow this has to um be looked at right and it has to kind of be um understood and it has to be um accepted in some way um so yeah that's pretty much it just kind of keep an open mind when it comes to this right with whatever it is that's crying you or river this week sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all Mwah. bye bye